Jonathan Kite has been making audiences laugh for the last two, count them, two years yes. on the CBS Emmy award-winning smash hit series Two Broke Girls. And he plays Oleg, the lovable, slightly sex-crazed Ukrainian cook. If you're looking, I know a place. You share a twin bed with two other girls. Oh, and there are cameras. But you're paid $4.99 a minute and get to meet all the singles in your area. Are you one of the singles in the area? Technically, I'd be your co-star. Oh, that is great. Jonathan Kai, welcome to the couch. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. We've been on for three years, but I've only been making America laugh for two. Two. Yeah. <laughs> I just found that? that out. The reviews are it's in. Like, yeah, it really? it just says two. Yeah, it's clearly sorry, that's, that's a new. That's a, you know, don't blame us. You know, no, actually, I'm not. They, this is, they say, I, the, one of our producers wrote this, your character is kind of pervy. Clearly, they don't watch the show because no. you are a total pervert. That's not true is at it? all. <laughs> I'm here to defend me. Really? Let's I'm charming. <laughs> and um, and I and I know what I want, and I go after it. Well, yeah. we it's, just said well, too. Carolina said your costumes are too much. You said they're too little. <laughs> but I actually like them because uh, they're they're. Um, it's like I wear a netted. For those of you who haven't seen, I wear like a netted T-shirt, so it's like a hairnet Hot. for my chest. Ah. <laughs> that's so disgusting. Wow. It's great. Look at this. Yeah. is a nice look. Yeah, but you can like kind of let it all just go. You know, no trimming for you. No, Why bother? Are you kidding me? No, no, no. I'm living the dream. That's what that look is called. It's called Living the Dream. Yeah. It's part of Oleg's new collection, Living the Dream. Uh, yeah, that, look for it at a Kohl's near you, yeah. right? Yes. Look for it in a, in, a, in a Kohl's from 1993. There you go. <laughs> but now tell us the funny story about how you actually got the audition. Um, I, I went into... Uh, meet the producers and the casting director and they were looking for somebody who was 45 years old and bald and Russian. So I was the youngest guy there by many, many moons. Clearly not and, bald. Um, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah. The, yeah. The, well, or the best toupee you have ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent work. And, um, and so I used, to, I used to have really short hair and I didn't have a beard. And I went in with the accent and I got to meet everybody and I just kept getting called back. But what I wear on the show, I actually wore that in the audition. Stop. Something super similar, yeah. Because I had to kind of give them a reason to, to see me in that way. And so I wore a hairnet and I wore these ridiculously tight, like Euro trash, um, <laughs> tiger print pants with like sad glitter on the thigh <laughs> like you know what i mean like glitter from a going out of business sale and uh, and i hemmed up the pants really short because yeah. my thing with him is i always thought he was either coming from or going to a club right that he was he's such a nightlife yeah. kind of person yeah. you know being born and yet the, working the, in a kitchen the discotheques you know but good for say. you, though. No, like, honestly, like, for a real moment here, because, you know, I think that you had a vision of the character, and for you to change their minds is yeah. huge in Hollywood, because these people have, like, no imagination. Sorry. Well, but, you know? No, you she won't be on Two Broke Girls anytime soon. Girls. No, but, I mean, honestly, you've auditioned. You know what it's like out there. They have something in mind. I think they... My experience is they have a general idea, but I think they really appreciate when someone comes and shows them, how about this? Right. Instead of kind of doing a vague interpretation of what they think they want, I think that's what is rewarded is a strong point of view and a commitment to something that you have come up with to kind of meld. Because what they have is a blueprint there. And, sure. you know, and Michael Patrick King and Whitney Cummings, who are the creators of the show, they were so open and so cool when we shot the pilot, just talking with me and kind of creating the character together together because I think we were looking to do it as a, as a group effort and I thought it was really it was really oh, awesome did, you, did you study accents or did you come up with the accent how did you I had always been doing it um, when I was a kid growing up in uh, the Chicagoland area a lot of my friends were first-generation Americans and so I probably just mimicked their parents so thank you <laughs> yeah because um, we would just kind of do impressions of their parents and they were all from <laughs> Eastern Europe What's so, your, is that your favorite one the Eastern European like yeah I, well, I, yeah I like that one I mean there's there's a lot of Eastern Europeans in uh, the Chicagoland area so right. it's just yeah it was just fun as this you, little kid making you do other impressions too right I can do other voices yes we lonely hear? kid is what we're trying to say right now lonely oh that's so sad. No, no, no. <laughs> I just, you know, I, I like it impressions. It worked for you, though. I like impressions. Give I us like one. Them. Can you give us one? How about Vince Vaughn? Can okay. I do Vince yes, Vaughn? Okay, yes, please. Sure. I, uh, I like that style you got going on, baby. You know what I'm saying right now? I feel like we get each other right here. We got the pocket square, baby, so we kind of, it's over our heart because I feel like we get each other. We're kind of like having a moment here. You know what I'm saying, my man? Ha, ha, ha. You oh get what I'm talking God, about right now. Oh, my God. That is so crazy. That's a looking. good Vince Vaughn. Wow. 
that was awesome. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Sammy Davis. No, no I'm kidding. Not here. <laughs> so you're going to do stand up, right? Are I you... am. I'm at the stand tonight uh, at 10 o'clock. Should be a pretty good show. Very cool. Yeah. You know, what's it like working with Cat? Oh, there it is. Uh, there the we stand are. Comedy right. Club. 239 Third Avenue. Avenue. Look right. for that face. Look at that guy. <laughs> at a, look for that face at the post office. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Wanted. Hey, wait. So, really quick, what's it like working with Cat Dennings? Amazing. She's, are you movementized? I mean, she is just honestly. I don't know well, if I've ever heard that word before. <laughs> there you go. That's in the, the Oleg's dictionary. Yes, because I Spelled interviewed D -I -C her. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you know, Kat and I, she was the first one that was associated with the show. And it was cool because that's kind of how they based it. When, the, when we met everybody, they were like, do you know Kat Dennings? And I was a huge fan. I've seen totally. like all of the films and they said well that's that's who we're looking at for the lead and so that really gave me an idea of what direction they were going with for the show and honest to god she is the most professional oh she yeah, is she's awesome incredible her talent and her ability to memorize things is ridiculous i mean they'll come there's a story that like is if totally true that that i've told a few times where they brought her a monologue Michael repeated it to her, or said it to her one time. She repeated it back in front of an audience. I swear to you, it was like this long. Wow. Like and then they just hair. shot it. And then they wow. shot it, and she did it in one take. Amazing. No mistakes. Wait, quickly, they're telling us to go. How was Lindsay Lohan? Were you there when she shot? I was. was she, she was good? awesome. Really? Really nice, honestly. That's great to hear. Yeah, she yeah. was really cool and really funny, and they worked with her a lot to, to make that character special and right for her, and I thought she was awesome. Oh I thought my it was gosh. really fun. Well, thank you so yeah. much. You are awesome. Thank You're you so much for having me. You've been funny for like two and a half years. Yes. <laughs> two and a half. Yes. It's going up. Going by, up. The, by the third hour, I'll be three hours. You yeah. can see the hit show Two Broke Girls on Mondays, and make Make sure to catch the season finale. Um, it's going to air on our sister station, CBS, Monday, May 5th at 8 p.m. And don't forget to go and see you at the Sand Comedy Club, right? I'll be there tonight, 10 p.m. There you go. Thank thanks. you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thanks.